Hi guys, this is Jaded Silk. Um, we've been working on some basic knitting techniques and um, you're all working towards making sushi. So I will show you sushi. Um, they come in many different colors and different types. But with the pattern I can show you how to do today, you can make these. They're very, very simple. Um, what you're going to need is a pair of size 2 or three, that's US two or three knitting needles. I'm gonna use double points today. I'm gonna to use size threes because they're bigger. It just makes it a little easier for you to see. But um, a set of double points. If you want to put the outside edge on your sushi, this is an inch and a half piece of black silk ribbon and it has been hand sewed on a sewing machine and then hot glued onto the piece of sushi. So I will show you how to, um, to do that last, but for now we're just gonna focus on the knitting part today. And this little sushi right here, the uh, hosomaki, is what we're going to do today. You will need two colors, um, two alternating colors. I've chosen uh, yellow and green, green for a little avocado, uh, yellow for yellowfin. Um, so this would be the fish color and this would be the vegetable color. And then you can do a cream or a white for rice color. Um, it does not require a, a ton of yarn, but you do double knit with the white rice color. So, or the cream rice color, depending on what your choice is. Um, so just make sure you have enough. I mean, but it really doesn't take a whole lot. I use uh, scraps up. These are actually scraps right here. So we will start with our first color. This is a size two needle. You're going to cast on six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so we have cast on six stitches. I'm just going to give the camera a nudge here because the focus is being wonky. There we go. Alrighty, so we have our six stitches on. You're going to do garter stitch, which I got, you guys are familiar with, I think, at this point. Rows one through eight are just going to be garter stitch of this color. And we're going to stop on row eight. You are going to start with a knit row. So we're going to go knit. This is row one. First row is always the hardest. Give that little end a tug so it's not just hanging out there in space. And purl row two. We will alternate rows like this until the eighth row. So this is row two, it's a purl row. So the next row is going to be a knit row. And you can see we're getting that nice flat stitch in the front, just like that. Pearl row, this would be row four. What I'm gonna do is turn the camera off now. And when I am done doing this and we're ready to change to our next color, I will show you how that's done. So I'll see you in a few. Hey guys, welcome back. We have completed our first part of our sushi, uh, the yellowtail filling. We have done our eight rows in garter stitch. That's why we have this nice, flat, pretty stitch across the front. What we are going to do now is change colors to our second color, which in my case is avocado. And I've showed you how to change colors before, but um, we can do that again here. 
I'm just going to kind of do an intarsia start on this. Normally I'd knot it down, but I really want this crisp and clean, so I'm going to twist it in the back just like I would for intarsia. And we're going to start row 9 through 20, which is going to be, again, garter stitch and again in this avocado color. So this is row 9, which is a knit row. We have changed our color. What you can do over here is take this. I'm going to set this down for a second. We're going to knot it right here nice and tight. And then we can just clip that off. And you ask me, you know, how much is enough? I mean, really, it did not take hardly any yarn here for just to make the yellow tail filling. All right, so that is row nine that we have done. That is a knit row. So the next row is going to be a purl row because we are continuing on in garter stitch. So row 10, this is now row 11, which is a knit stitch. This would be row 12. This is a purl row. What I'm going to do is stop here and finish up and then um, we can meet up here in the middle and I'll show you what to do in the next part. Thanks. All right guys, welcome back. Um, I have finished this row up here. So we now have our avocado and our yellow tail. What we are going to do is we are actually going to start doing something called double knitting. And this is really simple. You're just taking two ends of the same colored yarn and knitting or purling or whatever you're doing with both of them at the same time. Um, you can do this by making two different balls of yarn out of one skein, or you can do what I do, which is you grab one uh, thread from either end in the center pole and one from the top pole, and you can double knit. Um, what we're going to want to do is get in here and we are on row 20. Row 21 is where we're going to make our change in color. This is the ivory. I know it's kind of hard to tell just because the lighting's bad in here, but what we're going to do is this is a knit row. And again, we're going to do an intarsia twist right here, just like this. We've added a new color. I twisted it in. And now we're going to start our new pattern, which is going to be knit, purl, knit, purl, knit. So what we're going to do is knit, bring it forward, purl, put it back, knit, Bring it forward, purl, bring it back, and our last stitch, which is going to be a knit stitch. This is row 21. And as you can see, we've kind of started to widen out a little bit here, and here are our new stitches in the double. This is going to create a really fluffy, chunky look. It's what you see in the outside of this sushi, where it just looks like little fleecies. That's what you get from double stitching, double knitting. Um, looks like a little marshmallow, kind of. So now, the next thing we're going to do for um, rows 22 through 65, um, 
it's the same thing. Knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one. And that is the pattern all the way through 43 rows. So I guess what we'll do is I'll do a couple demonstration rows here and then I will turn off the camera and finish it up. So we are now here. And what we are going to do is call out rows as we go. So this is row 22. 22, knit, purl, knit, purl, knit row 23 knit come back here purl knit Girl. Knit. See, we're starting to get that fluffy pattern. Twenty four. Knit. Pearl, knit, pearl, knit, and row twenty five. I will stop on this row. Just last row one more time, same thing. Knit, purl, I can grab it, there we go. Knit, purl, and knit. All right, so that is row 25. If you can get a good look and see, you got the little fleecy popcorn-y look going on here. And you are going to keep on going. Um, we are on row 25. You will keep going until row 65. If it looks excessively long, um, I stop around 60, but that's just me. Um, whatever looks good to you, so. Off we go, and I'll see you in a few when we're done. All right, guys, well, we are finished knitting the length here. We have all one piece. You see start to finish. We have stopped on, uh, in my case, row 62, which looked pretty good to me when I rolled it up and decided that was a good squishy looking sushi. We are gonna cast off now and this is not particularly difficult it's just we're doing double knit so you just got to pay attention to that but we're going to do i'm just going to do a knit cast off um because i want it to make a nice straight line across so we're going to do knit knit past these two over these two and off the needle knit Pass these two over these two and let it off the needle. Knit, pass the back two over the front two and let it drop. And last but not least, our very last stitch, we're going to knit, pass it on over, and we've got one stitch left on the needle. I'm 
gonna clip these right on off. I'm gonna just loosen this up with my needles. Hold that open with my fingers. Pass these stitches on through like this. I'm just gonna have a nice tight knot in the end. Stretch it out so it's not super narrow. You know, make the width even on this. I'm going to leave these little tails on here. I'm going to use them to sew this together. And so this is actually how our sushi is going to look. We're going to take these and make sure they're knotted really good. I've got my little ends here. Set down my needles for a minute. knotted pretty nice. There is absolutely nothing wrong with putting a dollop of fabric glue where you have knotted to keep them from coming undone. I have really knotted these down pretty tight so we're gonna be all right with that I think. And I'm going to leave this end. Oh, I guess I can snip it off. Uh, it doesn't really make a difference. You can leave it or snip it. Um, whatever works best for you. Zip. All right. So now all we have is just our little cast off left on the end. We knotted that pretty good. Everything is kind of cleaned up on the length. Yes, these are going to look a little bit narrower than here. It's supposed to. And in about two seconds, let me grab my big eye needle and um, I will show you how to sew this together.